All right, recording. All right. Um, so I want to be thankful that I got to wake up today. Okay. And uh, sometimes I think we take that for granted, especially for me. You know, growing up in my 20s and even in my 30s, you think you're invincible, right? You think you're gonna live forever. You think, you know, you know, that it's that you're entitled to live every single day. You're entitled to be able to have all your appendages and, and all your senses and you're entitled to be able to see your parents. And really, it, it, it's not like that. You know, as you, as you get older, you start seeing people around you passing away, whether it's a friend or a family member or even your favorite celebrity passing away. You know, for me, it was, you know, for our Spanish people on here, for me, one of them was Tito Rojas. You know, Tito Rojas was a big salsa singer back when I was growing up. And, um, and when he passed away, you know, I've never met this man before, but I, 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 it kind of hit me a little bit, man. It's like, this is, I grew up listening to his albums, you know? So you start to realize, man, that, that, that life is a gift, you know, to be able to be here in front of you guys today, it's a gift, you know? So starting your days, guys, with a sense of mindset, it really puts you in a very, very good place because now you start to approach your business from a gratitude standpoint. And you just have a different attitude towards your business. You know, you start looking at challenges in a way that, you know, that it's okay. You know, as long as I'm alive and I can breathe, I can find a solution to this. You know what I mean? I haven't hit rock bottom yet. Rock bottom is when I'm in my deathbed, in my, in my bed. And I got to look at my kids and say, hey, daddy's, daddy's gone. That's it. Just, just hold my hand, daddy's gone. That's going to be my rock bottom. Until that day happens, everything else has a solution. So now I'm approaching my business in a way where it's like, man, it's all good. It's okay to go through these challenges. It's okay to have a client get mad at me, or it's okay for this deal to, to fall apart. It's just, it's, it's my job is to just find a solution and try to advise and guide my clients the most, uh, the best way possible. Okay. So the first, the first thing I want to do with you guys this morning, and, and I know some of you guys are, are, are driving, so please don't, don't, don't do this exercise with me if you're driving. Okay. But I want you guys to close your eyes and I'm going to close my eyes with you, uh, with you guys. Okay. And I'm going to go, we're going to go through this meditation. I didn't meditate the, uh, this morning on purpose. One of them, I was kind of running behind, behind schedule, but I wanted to save that time so I could, we could meditate together this morning. And you guys can really transport yourself to a place where you guys can have um, just you, you alone time, you know, a time for Michelle, a time for Shanir, a time for Raquel, KB. Um, so close your eyes and think of an, Think of that place that you guys can, could, could, could transport yourselves to. Like you can fly there. You know, it doesn't matter. Make believe that you can fly there, uh, whether it's on top of a mountain, you know, looking at the sunset, you know, and, you know, maybe there's a, a flock of birds flying by. And you can just feel that breeze. That It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just a perfect breeze going through your hair, flowing through your skin. You know, you can feel the dirt on the floor as you're sitting down and you're just in complete silence and you're so high up in the mountain. No one can bother you. Your spouse is not around. Your kids are not around. Your clients are not around. The noise of every day is not around. It's just you sitting up on that mountaintop. Or maybe it's not a mountaintop, whatever that place may be. Maybe it's the beach. Maybe it's in that, your, 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 um, your favorite room in your house, whatever, wherever that is, just transport that where you can be one with yourself and just be there, just take it all in, taking in that deep breath, right? Just calming yourself down and start saying thank you. Like, hey, I'm able to wake up this morning. I got to see my kids. Um, I got to see my wife, my spouse, my dogs. I'm able to take another breath today. I'm able to open up my eyes today. I was able to get off my bed today. I was able to speak. I was able to hear from my other ear. I haven't lost the other one yet. Um, and I'm able to now go into the office today and, 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 and I have another chance of making things happen. So thank you for that. And um, um, all I ask is that you put the right words in my mouth to be able to express myself, to be able to convey my messages to my agents, to my clients to my family, um, you know, put me in the right direction, make, um, you know, help me make the best decisions that I can um, for my clients, for my agents, for myself. And, um, um, you know, I, I want to attract, you know, more opportunities. I want to be able to look at my business from a, a solution standpoint. I don't want to focus on, on, on negativity. I don't want to focus on, on problems. Um, I want to be able to find solutions. So bring me solutions 
Um, and I want to be able to close that deal that I've been working on so hard. I want to close that deal. I'm going to close that deal. And today I'm going to work on becoming better. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to have a beautiful day and uh, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to leave everything in the ring today and I'm going to come home and I'm going to feel so productive. I'm going to be in such a great attitude because I, uh, I was able to win and I was able to take control of the day today. So thank you. All right. How does that feel? Good. So how does that feel? Some of you guys, have, I mean, I have a little bit of tears in my eyes because when I think of my family, I get a little emotional. Okay. So I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. okay? Um, so I want, I want to share that with you guys because that is so powerful. When you guys practice that on a daily basis, it's so freaking powerful because it's like you guys are giving yourselves, um, like for me, I give myself permission that it's okay to fail, man. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. Okay. So <clears throat> this industry is not easy, man. It's, it's, it's fucking hard. Okay. I get it. The reason why we wanted to do this every single Wednesday because, you know, we we get caught up on the on the social media. We're comparing ourselves to other people. You know, like I compare myself to like, you know, Grant Cardone, for example. I compare myself to Ed Milet and all these people that we look up to that are so amazing. They're doing amazing things, but we tend to forget that they went through the same struggles, man. We went they they went through the same struggles. Veronica Figueroa is another one. I was listening to her this morning. You know. Um, and she's generous enough to share all her knowledge for free on, on YouTube, man. So I invite you guys to listen to that, you know. Um, but, you know, this industry is not easy. And sometimes we forget that we're human and that it's okay to fail. It's okay to, to just accept the failure because without the failure, we cannot succeed. Without the failure, we cannot learn the lessons that are going to make us better so that we're, when we're in front of our next client, we can now look back into those failures into those to the time that I went through that difficult client or that difficult time. Now I can serve you even better because now I have experience. Okay. So if I never got out of my house, if I never went ahead and did a video, if I never went out there and put myself in an uncomfortable position, you know, which is what we, we push you guys to do is get, get uncomfortable, get out there, get out of your house, you know, get out of the house, go do something that's going to be income producing, something that's going to put you in a position for you guys to win, you know, for us to win. It's, I mean, yes, the failure is going to be there, but ultimately the more failures we collect, the more win, the more we're going to start winning because we're going to get better at what we do. It's not going to get any easier, but we will start to win because we're going to get better at it. You know, we hear of Michael Jordan all the time. Who here knows that Michael Jordan didn't make his high school team? Do you guys know that? He didn't make his high school team, man. He, he, he went out there. He was too short, believe it or not. He was too short, and he just sucked. You know, he might have been decent, but he wasn't good enough for the team, so he didn't make the high school team. So guess what? He took that failure. He turned it, he turned it into a win. You know, he said, you know what? I am going to be better. I'm going to practice. I got to do what I got to do. I'm going to control the things that I can't control, right? I can't control the, crit the critics. I can't control the people that make fun of me for being too short. I can't control those kind of things, but I can't control, right? how better I get on my, on my crossover. I can't control how better I get at a jump shot. You know? So how do, we, how do we apply that to our business? How, co, how can I be better at servicing my clients? How can I be better at, at being a, a real professional? You know, and, and, and it really comes down to that is getting out of your house and working on those income producing activities, doing those videos, doing the community highlights. Like today, Michelle, you asked me, hey man, how do I do community highlight? You know, I, I appreciated that question because that to me shows me that you're committed, you know, to the training that we did and everything that we what we talked about, the two and a half hours that it took me to get to you. You know what I mean? Like it was well invested because you're applying those things, you know. Um, so I we appreciate that. So um, I hope you guys, you know, got to really learn that exercise. Try, I, I will say do it every single day. I mean, that, that took us, what, two or three minutes, two or three minutes. You know, I literally I just stand by my little altar there and I just. You don't have to close your eyes if you don't want to, but just try to transport yourself and just work on that exercise. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it's game changer. Okay, so um, can I get you guys to commit to that at least two to two to five minutes every single day? Can I get a hell yeah, amen? That amen. Was wasn't it? It was, it was freaking beautiful. All right, guys. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. Today we have, well, well one thing, well, well we, before we move to that, I, there's, a, there's a quote that I want to share with you guys. So I have this little book here. It's called the, um, 
little book of confidence. I picked this up on, on in Target one day that I was looking for. Um, I was looking for gifts to give out our, our one of our meetings, and I wanted to give out gifts. And I saw this book, and I'm like, man, this is a cool little book because you can carry it with you, you can put it in your bag, and it's just filled with so much positivity in here. And you know? so, if one day you're down on positivity, you need to fill up on positivity. This little book will help you with that. Okay. Um, so one of the things that I read here today, this morning, it says, it's, um, it is counterproductive to judge ourselves through someone else's eyes, right? So then it goes into a quote by Edward de Bono. I don't know who that is, but Edward de Bono said, the image that concerns most people is a reflection they see in other people's minds. And I, I, I folded a little tab on that because that resonates with me. Because um, the reason why it resonates with me is because what I mentioned earlier is that, you know, how we find ourselves, com you know, comparing ourselves to other people. You know what I mean? I compare myself to other brokerages that are doing a heck of a lot better than we are. And, it, you know, and, and it, it, makes, it, it messes with your head, you know? So let me not compare ourselves to other people. Let me, let me just focus on what we got to do. You know, let me just focus on controlling what I can't control is making you guys better. You know, inspiring you guys in a way for you guys to want to push to be the better versions of yourselves. Okay, so that's what we can't control here as leaders. So that's what you can control yourselves as leaders of your own business okay so that's a great quote for you guys to remember okay the image that concerns most people is a reflection they see in other people's minds okay so it's just focus on you on your success okay what you guys are doing every single day how productive you guys are you are every single day and what you can you guys can start committing moving forward on the areas that you have not committed you know it could be phone calls it could be the videos it could be doing more buyer consultations it could be talking to more people you know, so what area of your business could you guys commit more up to moving forward? You can make a conscious effort to commit to that for you guys to start seeing a difference. Okay, so I challenge you to do that. All right. All right. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. All right. So we have the lovely Raquel, the fabulous Raquel. And I say fabulous because she always <laughs> looks freaking fabulous. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. Like, do you always look fabulous? I mean, if I was to go to your house for coffee, are you gonna look fabulous? Like, no, she, she never <laughs> has a bad day. God bless you. God oh, bless guys. you. God oh, bless no. you. Never have a bad day. Yeah, yeah, man. Not really. There is bad days too. That's yeah. one of the things that I said. You know, you you all know I'm I'm single, right? So that's one of the things that I sometimes I look at myself when I'm home. Uh, sometimes you want to be with somebody sometimes you don't you feel so good being alone right so one of those days is when I see myself with unmatching pajamas like all over it like my pants are a print my socks are totally different and I look at myself <laughs> and I say do I really want to be with somebody because <laughs> if they see me like this you know so yeah, no, they gotta I accept you for your socks. <laughs> what was that? So they gotta accept you for your mismatching socks. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> so, so listen, so Raquel, you've been in the industry for how long? Have you got? Have you been doing real estate? Almost two years. Almost two years. I started okay. in more homes. I've always been in more homes. I started February of 2019. February 2019. So I'm close to two years now. So you've definitely been one of our most loyal agents. You've been through us with us through a lot of our you know, <laughs> tribulations yeah. and trial and tribulations and you know a lot of the changes that we've been doing, you know, good changes, right? For the for the name of 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 of, of you know progress, right? Um so you so you've been with us for two almost two years. Now before that you used to do architecture, right? You be you were you were an architect. Yes, right? I'm an architect and I was in the architect field for like five, six years. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. And I love that too. Right. Okay. So how does an architect, right? change. what was that? <clears throat> how does an architect, because I mean, that's a prestigious title to have. Hey, we're like, if someone to ask me, hey, Edison, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an architect. You know, like, I'm going to be like, hmm, right. So how do you go from being an architect? Right? I'm not I saying know. that real estate is not, it's not prestigious, right. But most exactly. people are not going to make that change. That's what I'm trying to say. Most people are going to be like, no, I'm an architect. I'm not going to do that. Right. How, how did you make that transition? And it did took a while. I've had my license for a while, for longer than the two years. I had my license for like, I, I believe uh, maybe like four years now. I've had it when I was in, in architecture. It took me a while to make the decision, of course, because I wasn't a comfort zone. 
Mm. But I was also in a place where I wasn't going to go nowhere or that I was at the top that I was going to be. And I, I felt like I needed more. I needed to grow. I needed the independence. I needed to do something for myself and not, I, I wasn't happy at the place that I was at like the last year. Gotcha. gotcha. I had a lot of responsibilities, uh, which was good because I had a place in that office but I knew that I wasn't gonna grow more. And I I started thinking and feeling that I needed more. Were you married so, at the time when you made that decision? Were you married? No, 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 no. I've been divorced for like 10 years. Okay, so you're already divorced. I got you, I got you. Yes, yes. So you, you know, the, the independent woman in you, you say, you know what, I, I wanna do something that's more more me. I wanna be, I wanna, I wanna break the chains of going and, and you know working for someone else right i mean exactly you exactly want to move for yourself yeah beautiful, beautiful so but what drive that like what's the driving factor behind that right because i mean i can say yeah i want i want to i want to go work for myself i'm tired of making someone else rich but what is what is a driving factor what is the engine that's running that those emotions if that makes sense uh I don't know i just i just like i said i just felt that i wanted to be i wanted to be somebody for myself, by myself, not like you said, working for somebody else. Yeah. Uh, I wanted the independence. I wanted to grow. And like I said, it took a while, but I, at one point I decided I can't stick with this anymore. I have to make a decision. And one day I just, I just decided to do it because oh. I'm so much of comfort zones and you probably noticed <laughs> so that was a comfort zone and make big decisions to me it scares me uh and I feel so proud that I have made some good and big decisions changes in my life uh it is scary though but I just I just did it if I didn't do it like that Edison I was yeah. never gonna do it if I kept thinking about it I was never gonna do it and 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 I, and I think that's that's a good way good way for us to start the next question is like I wanted to ask you what are some of the challenges that you've been you've been you've been facing ever since you decided to become a businesswoman <sighs> to be an entrepreneur right and one of those it, it is definitely comfort zone you know uh, you know because we come we, when we come from an employee environment from a W two to a ten ninety nine it's there's there's a gap in between that right there's a gap and the gap is how do I how do I break the the day the habits you know that I had you know well I will and sometimes those habits are psychological habits right because psychologically we are we were just reacting we're like robots right so we know I gotta be at the office by nine o'clock I gotta work on those drawings I gotta work on this project whatever it is right and I have to report this to my superior by this this deadline right so and then I take my lunch at this time right and then and then I go home by five o'clock and if I gotta go on vacation I gotta fill out this form so we're, 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 we're operating like an autopilot. We already know what to do. And we're just following a procedure, right? And then once we give up that, right? We are giving up the structure, right? And then we decide to go off on 1099. And it's like, holy shit, I don't have structure anymore. Where the that hell was, are we gonna get the structure? Yeah, that was one of the biggest challenges when I started in real estate. Because I had a structure, I had, I had a schedule. I had to be at the office at a certain time. I had to, you know, I had the day, you know, I started at nine or 10 until five or six. So I knew I had to be at the office. I knew somebody was going to be watching on me. I had projects that I, that were due at certain times. So coming to real estate, it's like, not that I'm on my own because you, you guys are always like, you know, uh, pay attention to us and all that. But still, it's my business. It's my schedule. Uh, you or or Juan or or KB or Kevin, whoever. Then you guys are not telling us you need to be here at nine or you need to go make a video at nine or ten. It's I make my own decisions in that and that matters. So that was a challenge. It still is. Uh, because yeah, I've, I've mentioned before that I, I struggle a lot with time management. I've gotten better, but it's still, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, 
it's something that I have to be working constantly on. So that's that's one of the biggest challenge I would say uh, when I made the change. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna plus, plus all the little things. I mean, it's not it's not an easy business. Uh, it's it's been it's been it's been difficult sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are good days and there are bad days. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I want to practice a quick. Who here is at home right now, guys? Don't 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 stop giving us some love. Turn on those cameras, guys. Some of you guys are are leaving us. Turn on those cameras, baby. <laughs> I want to see you guys interacting. Come on, guys. Give us some love, baby. We're on stage right now. I need to see. I need to feed up that energy. Come on, baby. All right. Who, who, so who of you guys are at home right now? You guys are home right now? Okay. I want you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do an exercise with you guys that I learned from, from somebody else. That I was like, man, when I saw that, I was like, you know what? That's what we got to do. Whoever's at home right now, I want you to get up off your chairs and go get me a fork. Go get me a fork. And this is why I want you guys to turn on your cameras, because if you're at home, I want you to participate, guys. Who got a fork? Oh, is that a fork? What is that? Is that a napkin? What is that? An arepa? No, I want you to get me a fork. <laughs> Who's, who has an arepa? Olga had an arepa in her hand. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? <clears throat> who is there with him? Oh, Kevin is training one of the agents. Yeah, he, uh, Imad. Yeah, he started this week. Oh, okay. All right, are you at home? <laughs> okay. all right guys so i asked you guys to go get a fork right rose are you home right now yeah you have your fork i just got back all right go get a fork we're doing an exercise all right we're gonna wait for rose to get her fork and then we'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what i mean by that fork and don't worry we're not gonna ask you to eat anything gross but don't be nervous <laughs> all right but when I, when, I, when, I, when I saw this exercise, I was like, you know what? That is absolutely true. And, and again, this is what happens to us when we're in, in, our, in business. We get analysis paralysis. You know, we hear all these cliche terms, but they, they doesn't make them any less true. And again, we go back to mindset as well, you know? So it's like having that mental toughness, right? And to be able to talk to yourself in a way that you, you need to be spoken to. You know, to some of you guys, I gave you guys some of this, this brace and I forgot to bring you one, Michelle. But my bracelet says, don't be a little bitch. And it's for a reason. <clears throat> I, I be, not that I want to disrespect myself and talk down to myself, but sometimes we need to be real with ourselves and say, shit, you know what, Edison, you're being a little B-I-T-C-H, meaning you are complaining too much, you are procrastinating too much, or you're you're running away from your problems too much you know all those are little signs of you being a little bitch you know you gotta face it head on right so one of the things is is is, is scheduling calendars right like for me i needed to become more organized especially now that i'm in the broker side and we're running multiple businesses as you know we have grandma's boys we have uh you know we're running sweet homes with Shanir, right we have obviously more homes um, we have a whole bunch of podcasts that we're doing now. Like today I got to do, uh, uh, community hunters. Now we're going to be doing, um, um, making sense. That's going to be also every Tuesday morning, we're going to be going live with Chris and Zyda, you know, so there's a lot going on, man. So I have to be extremely, extremely organized. Right. But I'm not going to say it, tell myself, well, I'm getting better at being organized. It's either I do it or I don't. Right. So. Right now, I asked you guys, so could get me a fork. How many of you guys went and got a fork? Everybody, right? Raise your hand if you got the fork. Let me see those forks, right? Right? You went and got your fork, right? I said, go get the fork. No questions asked, right? You just went and got the fork, whether it was in your kitchen, wherever it was, you went and got it, right? The point of the exercise was we knew what the objective was. We just went ahead and did it. Right. We just went ahead and did it. There was no thinking. There was no 
the right time to do it? No, I got to do it right now. Let me go do it right now. How many of us in our business, we know what to do. We just don't do it. We think about it too much, right? I know I need to be more organized. So let me go get, let me get organized. Let me run a calendar, right? If I have something on my calendar, say for example, today, I knew I had to be here at 10 a.m. with you guys, right? I will, guess what? I was already logged in at 9.45, in case some of you guys were early, I don't want you guys to be waiting, right? So I have a commitment to being organized. I have to be organized. I have to be following my calendar, right? So it's not, it's not, it's not a concept of oh, I'm getting better at being organized. It's whether I'm, I'm organized or not, okay? So my biggest advice I give you guys right now is make a commitment to just get organized and just do it, right? It's as simple as that. Just do it. Right. Don't give you give yourselves the leeway of saying, well, I'm, I'm working on getting organized because me working on getting organized, meaning that I don't have a target. Right. I don't have a deadline. I'm just working on it. Well, that's that's your business needs you to get organized today. Your business needs you to get organized today. Your goals, your dreams, your family, everybody, your kids needs you to get organized today. OK, so thank you for you guys for participating in a quick exercise. It was painless, right? We didn't eat anything or uh, anything that was disgusting or anything. But I hope you guys got the concept, okay? Just go ahead and do it, okay? So back to you, Raquel. So comfort zone and time management has been your biggest challenges so far, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, as far as comfort zone, what ha what what are some of the things that you've, you know, you struggle with your comfort zone and how, how are you working on getting better at that? Uh, you said something uh, right now that adds, I think it's what I'm implementing and it's just doing what I know that I have to do. Yes. Uh, and that's what has changed. And I would say in the last couple months for me, and I was talking to you, I mentioned to you, I believe it was yesterday, the way I'm feeling Yeah. much better because I was putting so much stress on myself. And it's, it wasn't even like when you guys, you that are my broker, uh, Juan or KV, you, you guys weren't telling me like, you are not doing this or you have to do this. And, but I put in, a, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. Yeah. So much stress on myself that wasn't even coming from more homes. But yes, I know that more homes has some expectations on me. So I was putting so much pressure uh, on myself and stress uh, mentally, uh, physically, I was I was also like getting sick. Uh, I had to go to doctors and stuff because of all the stress. So I at one point took control. I know what I have to do. I just started doing. I I'm not saying that I'm perfect in that. I'm doing everything. <clears throat> excuse me. That I have to do. Yes. I can still do a lot more. I am doing more that I'm, than what I was doing months ago. And that's what's giving me peace. Everything's not perfect yet, uh, but I feel much better, much better to the point that, uh, well, you know, I have a couple of deals that are one that's falling, one that may fall. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm not stressed and I'm scared because why am I not stressed? Because I used to get so much, I, I used to get a lot of stress with little things. Yeah. And it's not, it's not anymore. Uh, and I hope I stayed like that because there's things that I cannot control, like that uh, tale that you were helping me. That's and thank you for that. I was, it wasn't under my control, it wasn't on my side. So what can I do? I'm not, there's nothing I can do. I did my part. So I am trying to work on that. Uh, so, but basically is, I know what I have to do. I'm doing what I have to do. I still have to do more though, but like I said, but that's why I've changed everything the last months for me. Well, you, you mentioned a couple of things. So one of the things that you mentioned was, well, it's not perfect. Right. And I think, and I think perfection is not, it's not the idea here. Right. We're never going to be perfect. There's areas of my business that I need to get better at. You know what I mean? When I, when I analyze my business, I'm shit. I dropped the ball last week on this. I got to get better at that. Right. So it's never going to be perfect. But when you are when you are committed to your business and you're working on your business and in your business. Right. Then you start working on those things that you need to 
just have progress. And so I think progress is, is, should be the mission or the objective, but it's never going to be perfect, you know? So mm -hmm. I, I, I invite you to just remove that other piece of the, maybe it's like giving you pressure, right? Maybe, you know, too much pressure. Hey, oh, it needs to be perfect. No, it's not to be perfect. Because when you realize that it doesn't have to be perfect, it removes another layer of pressure off of you. I'm like, man, you know what? It's all good. You know what I mean? Let me focus on the things that I can't control, which, which you mentioned, which is so powerful. I started practicing that when we were, when we were pregnant with Penelope. Um, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. We, were, I, we, we had just gotten our apartment back. We were living in Urbana in, in, in Hunters Creek. And I had a lot of pressure, man, you know, because, you know, Shanira was working a normal job. We have, we're, we're having, we're having another baby. We already have a three-year-old, you know, so I was, there was a lot of pressure, man, you know, and one thing that I, one thing that I, and again, because I'm, I've always been so committed to my business and I believe creativity follows commitment. If you guys want to write that down, creativity follows commitment that I was so committed to my business that I got creative with it. And when I, one thing that came into my head, I was like, yo, Edison, like, what are you doing, bro? You're good at what you do, man. You know how to talk to people. You're very personable. When you when you meet someone in person, they gravitate towards you, right? Um, so why don't you just focus on that? Focus on that. Just focus on doing your phone calls. Keep doing your videos. You love doing your videos. Keep doing your videos. You're giving you good results. People are loving your videos, right? And just get in front of as many people as you can. And once you're in front of those people, Right. It's a numbers game. The more people you get in front of Edison, the more chances you are going to have of becoming more successful. And when I started talking to myself like that, guys, it just gave me a sense of peace, kind of like the peace that you're going through right now, Raquel. It gave me a sense of peace that all I got to do is just focus on the things that I can't control. Everything else is going to happen regardless, whether deals are going to fall apart or not. It's going to happen regardless. I can't control that. If an if a lead, if a lead is going to get pissed off at me because they think that I misrepresented them or whatever, it's going to happen regardless. I can't control that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, hold on, bro. Um, this guy threw me off. Always does that to me. Kevin. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but just focusing on the, on, the, on the things you can't control. You know what I mean? So that's, I love that you mentioned that, Raquel, because I mean, how many of us here, you know, struggle with that, especially as a brand new agent, you're coming into this industry, you know, and you, you see all the success people are having, right? But mm -hmm. um, but we, we I think we underestimate the the level of of mental toughness that you need to have, you know, to be able to wake up every single morning and to to do what we got to do and give our clients the best version of ourselves. So so I, I, I really do appreciate the fact that you're mentioning that and the fact that you are working on that every single day now and you are committed to that, you know, and you said another mm -hmm. thing too is like it's not up to it's not up to Juan. It's not up to Edison. It's not up to KB or Kevin or anyone else. It's up to me to make that, those decisions. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I love that you're doing that, man. So um, what does a typical date look like for you? You know, I know you, you've, you've gotten some results. You know, yesterday we were talking about two contracts that you have still. OK, uh, I know you have some other stuff going on in the work. So so there are things that you're doing right now that are working for you. So can you walk us through what a yeah. typical date looks like for you, how you attack your day? Whether well, it's good or bad, right? And you so talk about the good and talk about the areas that you know you need to improve. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, yeah, the, I'm gonna start with the things that I need to work uh, on, and because of us, like uh, we changed the office, right? So we're going, we are at a different place now. We uh, or location. We were without the office for a few weeks. That threw me up uh, of a little because I was used to go to the office. Uh, I was going to the office to do phone calls, follow up and all that. And then from there, eat there and then go make videos. So now I was, I was uh, for a few days, I was in the at home and that was, that wasn't really good to me because I lose, like I always say, I lose more time when I'm at home. Uh, it takes me longer to do the things that I have to do because well, I'm home, I can get up and make a coffee or I can get up and do uh, load some clothes in the in the washer and things like that. Uh, yeah. But it definitely definitely helped me if I have, if I choose to go to the office and mm -hmm. do my stuff there. And I've always 
say that to you guys. Yeah. But my days typically look like I, if I go, I have breakfast in the morning yeah. and then from there go to the office or do my phone calls. And then I like to do my videos in the afternoon. So that's my day follow-ups or calls or emails in the morning, eat, and then I do the videos. I like to do the videos in the afternoon if I have to do videos. Uh, if I have showings, that's totally different. I change the day completely. Sometimes I don't have time to do the phone calls or sometimes I don't have time to do the videos. Like this last couple of weeks, I haven't done a lot of video and I'm being honest. And it's because I've been more VC, which is good. I prefer that, yeah, you know, the problem so it, mm -hmm. it gives me a little, like I've, I've been feeling the, the last days I've mentioned to Genesis and, and Mariale, I have to like get organized, make a list of the clients that I haven't sent video, which are a few, uh, because I haven't had time to go and make videos on the properties because I've been busy. This weekend I was completely booked with showings <laughs> and I love that I'm like so tired at the end but I love a round of applause for that because that's <laughs> freaking amazing beautiful I a lot of people are struggling they're not even getting showing so the fact that you're going out there and you're getting showings that's what I'm talking about it's progress baby getting showings changed completely the way I feel completely the way I feel I feel so bad when I'm not doing like yes I didn't do any showings I don't have showings today I don't have showings planned for tomorrow that does give me a little bit of stress, uh, but then it gives me time to plan for the things that I haven't done, like videos. Exactly. So I have to sit and plan, okay, which clients yeah. haven't done videos and start getting the appointments yeah. for that. Um, I'm sorry, that's my client, uh, but yeah. Okay, that's beautiful, man. So. So what are the areas that you think you need to improve on as a, you know, as a businesswoman, you're looking at your business. Okay. What areas can I, can I plug in with some solutions? Still, I would say still uh, working harder with phone calls. Uh, I don't do that many phone calls. Uh, well, I was doing more when I wasn't having showings and, uh, but then because I started, my mind changed. My mind changed and I said, I have to do, like I said, I have to do what I have to do. And I started doing all this stuff. For some reason, I started having clients coming back to me, clients that hadn't responded. And then I started getting busy. So I wasn't making as much phone calls as I was when I wasn't having anything. You know what I mean? I know that we still can have uh, set time for the phone calls. I yeah. have to work on that uh yeah but yeah 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 so 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 that's good man well number one i appreciate how transparent you're being with us right now because this is what i wanted everyone to get out of this this segment today is that not everything is all sunshine and rainbows right so we last you know what was a couple weeks ago we spoke with andres and you know we just spoke about the success that he's had and all this stuff which is great to oh. hear right because if someone else is doing it i can do it too but i want to hear the struggles man i want to hear what what the person is going through me because that's the raw, that's the reality. We're not, we're not all just making money and just fucking going on vacations and shit like that. I mean, we all deal with struggles every single day, you know, and, 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 and then how do we, how do we also deal with our personal struggles, you know, with our spouses or with our kids or whatever challenges we're going through, how do we marry the two and still be able to keep showing progress? You know, like we said, it's never going to be perfect, you know? So, so thank you so much for being transparent and, and, and talking to us about that. So, I, I'll give you my commitment though, Raquel. So as some of you guys already know, we, we, we've, uh, Juan and I have pretty much come back into more of a leadership role. Uh, we realized that we kind of just took too much of a step back. You know, we were kind of, you know, just letting things just kind of roll, you know, run on, on their own the way they're supposed to. Eventually that's how we want the company to run and be able to run. Everybody knows what they're doing. But I, I think we took too many steps back where we kind of were kind of losing sight. So we want to be more involved with you guys. So uh, we pick some of the agents that we want to be part of our team. And Raquel, you're part of the, the, the group that we're going to be in. I don't want to call it the Edison team because it's not, it's, it's a call <laughs> all of us. Um, but I, I, since you are going to be part of that group, I'm going to give you my commitment that we are going to work on those things together um, and I'll show you how 
it's not going to be easy. It's, it is going to be challenging, but how could we be more efficient when we're doing those exercises so that we're still get, we're able to get out of the way and keep moving on to the next thing. Okay. Uh, so we'll work on that. Um, another thing that you mentioned too, that I think it's also helped out a lot, I believe from what I'm hearing you say, um, Raquel, is that you have been collecting wins. You know, um, I think a lot of times we, we, but I have been what I'm sorry. Cause collecting doing... wins. Can you guys hear me? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking. Mm -hmm. No, it's me. Cause they're doing uh, okay. it here. Um, you're being collecting wins. So, so, so that's another, another concept that I shared with you guys, uh, a few weeks ago in a video that I shared with you on the WhatsApp group is I think sometimes us, you know, we, again, we put a lot of pressure on us and we associate a win as getting contracts. If I'm not getting any contracts, well, I'm not winning. Right. And, and the thing is, man, is that it, that hurts your, your confidence. Right. Because where does confidence come from? You know, I always say. If I get in the ring with Mike Tyson tomorrow, I'm probably going to lose. Most likely. No, not probably. Most likely is 100 percent chance I will lose against Mike Tyson. Right. But what if I get in, get in the ring with Mike Tyson and somehow I was able to snuck in a punch in there and knock him out? <laughs> what is that going to do to my confidence? Right. My confidence they be like, holy shit, I just knocked out Mike Tyson. Holy crap. Oh, my God. I'm going to feel like I'm the king of the world. I just knocked out Mike Tyson. Although he probably will get back up again and then that's it. I'm done. Right. But the fact that I was able to knock him down at least once. Guess what? I won. And guess what? My confidence went up, you know, so that confidence comes from winning. Right. So how do you win at business? Right. You win at business by committing to the areas you most feel uncomfortable. Um, um, where you okay, the, the areas where you're not so confident in, meaning the areas that push you up over your limit, right? So, if you're not too confident on the phone, well, let me let me work on that because if I can conquer that, it's a win for me, right? If I'm not confident being in front of a camera and I don't send a, a, an intro video to my client introducing myself, if I don't, if I'm not confident doing that, well, that's what I'm going to do. Because when I conquer that, the fact that I got it done, it might not be the most perfect video, it might not be the most beautiful video, but the fact that I got it done, that's a freaking win, right? If I haven't done a community hide ever, or maybe the last time I did it was, um, um, you know, a month ago. Well, let me do another one tomorrow. Well, that's a win for me, right? So now you start to collect these little wins, right? And then when you're finally in front of a client, you are so much more confident because you've been collecting wins, over and they're being compounding right and that's how you start gaining that confidence right so when like for me when i was in production and i was going through my share of psychological struggles and i had to get better at being more mentally tough and look at my business from a different standpoint so what i told myself edison just just keep collecting those little wins man those little wins are gonna are gonna lead you to win a championship right because that's how that's how it is in sports right you collect wins throughout the season Right. And the more wins you have, the more chances you are going to have to make the playoffs. Right. And then the more wins you have in the playoffs, then you're going to get it. To, you're going to get to the championship. Right. To the World Series or the Super Bowl or whatever the case be, or the NBA finals. Right. Or or the World Cup. Right. But you got to collect those wins in, able, in order to get there. Right. So it's the same concept here, guys. So collect those little wins throughout the day. Now, if you're sitting at home right? We're all been guilty of that. We'll just stay home. Like, you know what? I'm going to stay home today, right? Our, our inner voice at the end of the day is telling us, yo, Edison, you know you fucked up today, bro. You fucked up today. You know that, right? Your inner voice is telling you that, but guess what? That inner voice is not making you feel bad and your confidence starts to go down. And then your confidence starts to go down. And guess what? That rolls into the next day because your confidence is so low. It's like, man, I really don't feel like doing this. Today. And all of a sudden, it becomes like a cancer. It starts eating away at you because your, your lack of confidence starts to eat at you. Until you start, until you get back out there again and start gaining those wins again. Just gaining those little wins. And all of a sudden, it's like you're gaining that confidence again. Does that make sense, guys? Right? Ed Edison, I want to say, and it may sound so, uh, so cliche, uh, cliche, but those little wins is what brought the confidence on me this last month. 100%. A little, win, a little win. It's not a contract, like you said. It's just like having a list of possible contracts or a, a client that answer or clients that have answered 
that show some interest, those little things uh, started making the difference on me. A hundred percent. That said, it doesn't have to be. It didn't have to be a contract, but but the little things, and so I started feeling happier because <laughs> I think I wasn't that a couple months ago wow. about about the way my business was going. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I mean, if I, if I can speak for myself, and when I when I used to drive home, I didn't come home with a contract, right? My bank account was still showing a hundred bucks. You know, I'm still behind in the rent, whatever. That didn't change, but the fact that I was able to leave my house today and I focus on the things that I can't control, I was driving back home, blasting music in my car and fucking singing, and I just felt like a freaking winner because I went out and I took care of business, right? And then that confidence just translated to my clients, and my clients used to love me because I was so, man, I could be sitting on, on my account overdrawn, and I didn't let that affect me because I let me just focus on the things that I can't control. And man, it's just, it's just magical. And then if you believe in the law of reciprocity, when you start really taking care of your clients and just really, really helping them get to a better place, right? The universe has a way of just giving that back to you, man. You know, Edison, you know what? You put effort, you've been putting effort, bro. All right, cool. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a, 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 an award here. You know, it's, you know, like, I'm going to make that client now start believing in you or seeing things the different way, you know, um, so, I mean, I don't know if you guys believe in that. I believe there's certain truth to that. You know, no, no. One other thing that I always say is emotion creates motion, you know? So it's like, whatever you put out there in the universe, you're going to get it right back in return, you know? So I want you guys to look at your business like this. It's, I want you guys to look at, at your business like, a, a, like a, a, a vehicle, a four-wheel vehicle. I know some vehicles out there that are three wheels or whatever, or two wheels, not a motorcycle. But your typical car that you drive every single day, it's got four wheels, right? And those four wheels have to work, have to work. They have to be inflated, right? But what if you don't have a wheel? What if you have a flat, right? Your car is going to be wobbly. Your pie is probably going to be undrivable, right? That's how your business needs to be. You need to operate your, 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 your business like a four wheel car, like a, like a vehicle. Every, you got to hit on all, all those four. So I want you guys to look at your business today and say, okay, what areas of my business, what four things that I can't commit in my business to, right, that I haven't been doing? I've been operating on three wheels, and that's why I'm not going anywhere. Maybe even two wheels, maybe just one wheel. Maybe I only do phone calls, but I don't do everything else. Or maybe I just love doing videos, but I haven't done phone calls in a month or whatever, right? I need to be able to operate on, on all four wheels so that I can get to my destination. Okay, so look at your business that way, guys. If you don't have all four wheels, guys, you guys are not going to go anywhere. All right, so look at your business today. and What can I commit to that I can start doing, right? The next step will be, okay, well, cool. Now that I know that, now I just need to get organized because we all have 24 hours in a day. We all have the same opportunity, right? But I can't control at what time I wake up and I can't control what time I end my business. You don't have to end your business at five o'clock. I know that sounds attractive and it sounds sexy, Right. But if you're in the beginning of your business, building a business, you don't have the luxury to just finish your business at five o'clock. Right. If you mean if you're serious about building uh, your business, if you're serious. Right. You know, there's been days, man, I'm, I'm here at seven, eight o'clock, man. You know, it's just it, if, if I have to stay here till seven, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Because that's what I I'm still in the process of building this business with Juan and KB and Kevin. We're not done yet. You know, so. We don't have the luxury to do that, right? So you guys don't have the luxury, right? Until you guys are like fucking, I don't know, like fucking buying properties and buying that that Lamborghini or whatever, or whatever it is that fulfills you. Until we get that, we cannot take the foot off the of the gas, right? But we can't control that. You have, you guys have the power to control that, you know. So make a commitment today. What four areas of your business? I can give you guys those four to help you guys out. One could be phone calls. Uh, the other one could be bar consultations. How many bar consultations have you had, right? And when I say bar consultations, not in the driveway, not under the hood of their car, like a meaningful conversation with your clients, like heart to heart over a cup of coffee. You're really sitting down with them. You're having a meaningful conversation. What was the last time you did that, right? The other one could be walkthrough videos, right? And then the other one could be having structure. Can I commit to have, you know, having structure on a daily basis? being organized on a daily basis, right? Can I commit to those four so that I can start getting this vehicle to start moving, right? And they're, they're simple. There's nothing crazy, nothing out of this world. It's just, again, 
getting out of our comfort zone. You know what I mean? Um, the little voice inside your head that that's trying to keep you or your 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 human instinct trying to protect you, right? Because that's the way we're we're we're, we're wired that way. Our, our bodies, our our brains are wired to protect us, you know, to keep us from harm. That's why it feels good to watch a movie. That's why it feels good to sleep. Feels good to just lay in your couch. You know, you're protected. It feels cozy. It's nice. Right. It doesn't feel good to make phone calls because you're going to get maybe rejected or someone's going to, you know, whatever, tell you something nasty or it doesn't feel good to go out with a camera out in the public because people are going to look at you like, what the hell is this guy doing? You know what I mean? It doesn't feel good. But those are the areas that we got to get better at so that we can start moving in the right direction. You can start seeing the progress that you guys are looking for, that we are all looking for. Right. Not perfection. It's never going to be perfect, but we need to see the progress. Right? You guys need to see the progress. Right. Your future. So what I tell myself, Edison, that 70 year old guy, he's either going to be sitting in a nursing home cursing at you, right, for, for not doing what you got to do, not taking, not taking care of business, or that 70 year old man is going to be sitting out in fucking Paris, staring at the Eiffel Tower with his fucking coffee and his hand and by my side, right, babe, if you're still here, right, looking at the Eiffel Tower and saying, yo, Edison took care of business when he was in his 30s and his 40s, look at us now, right, what is that older self going to say? your future self going to say, think about that. It's powerful when you think about that stuff like that. Okay. So guys, it's 11 o'clock. I, I want to be very respectful of you guys this time. I know we want to be in the name of being, you know, organized. Um, Raquel, is there anything else you want to share with us? Any, any nugget, anything else that, that you can say, Hey man, guys, take this away with you. It's helped me. And uh, so we can wrap it up. Are you muted? Can you guys hear her? Yes, um, I was mute. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> uh, some of the same stuff that I've said, but for me, I just I just want to share that what uh, helped me the last month, like I said, is taking control of my business, of myself, taking care of myself, and uh, working for me. Like I, I said the other day to to KB. I don't care about more homes <laughs> and that sounds bad, but this oh. is, this is my point. I was, I was worrying so much about what more homes was thinking mm -hmm. of me and what I was doing that I was forgetting about myself and I wasn't focusing on myself. So not that I don't care and I, and I, it's not in a bad way when I say it, um, but I have to care more about myself and growing, growing my business, being me being okay, healthy and doing what I have to do. And then I'm going to see the results and yeah. then more homes. It's going to be, freaking it's going to see the results and you guys are going to be happy, but I have to be happy with me and what, with what, uh, with what I'm doing. And then you're gonna be happy. But so I can't do this to make you guys happy. And that's what I that's when I took control of, of everything that was going on. And I'm not saying that I'm the star right now. It's just I, I feel good. I feel good. That is powerful what you said right there, because it's, I, and we said this so many times, it's not about more homes, it's not about anyone else, it's oh. about you guys, your business. So the fact that you are saying that you have reached a whole other level of like. Mm -hmm. mental toughness and freedom man because yes you focus on things you can't control you have your goals that you want to reach your goals are different than mine exactly. so Raquel you have a destination you want to get to you are the one that's in the driver's seat so yes. that's so powerful that you mentioned that and it, and it ties into what, what we shared earlier today about mm -hmm. not caring what everybody else thinks about you just focus on what you got to do so yeah. I appreciate I appreciate you guys thank you so much for um for joining us if you guys got any value of this please 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 i want to see more collaboration from you guys is share your comments i know it's, <laughs> this sounds so funny because that's what people say in youtube you give me a like or whatever whatever but, <laughs> but, for, but for real like like seriously i want to see your comments on the group chat <laughs> hey guys thank you so much for sharing this today this is what i learned you know because i want to i want to know if this is resonating with you guys if you guys are taking away something valuable out of this because that's how we can start collaborating with one another and we can start seeing the synergy going back and forth of us working together and knowing that you're not alone at this journey we're here together even though you are you have your own path that you're walking 
Um, control the controllables. Absolutely. I don't know who said that. Hold on. Let me see. Let me pull this up here. Uh, KB. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Control the controllables. Absolutely. So thank you guys. I'm going to leave you guys. It's 1104. I do have another meeting here as well. So thank you. Appreciate you, Raquel. Let's keep, let's keep rocking, baby. We're going to be working one-on-one -on -one a lot. So look forward to helping you. Okay. Everybody else. Yeah. Thank um, any you questions, guys. let me know. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Have a positive day. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.